to episode 5 of A Holiday in East Lothian. If you have been watching the previous episodes and have enjoyed them, thank you very much. Um, and I hope you enjoy this one, obviously. And we, we have one or two more coming up, and I hope you enjoy those too. Today's episode focuses on our visit to a local village called Appalady. It's just down the road from Portstein, where we're staying. Uh, and whilst we were there, we went for a walk around the village uh, and learnt the local history, uh, which is pretty interesting, by the way. And we took loads of photos and uh, videos, and I can give you the details of the walk that we went on. So if you do visit Appalady, um, you'll know where to go to take this uh, to take this walk. Um, over the photos and videos that I took, I will be doing a, a little bit of a talk over on this episode, um, and that's just to make it easier and more interesting for you guys to understand um, and to pique your interest in the history of the village. Thank you. This is the Abilady High Street. Um, Abilady has two pubs. One of them is the Abilady Inn, and that is where my sister and my niece stay. We also went there for some uh, lovely food, and I can do nothing but recommend it. I believe my sister and my niece enjoyed their stay there too. Um, the other one's called the Ducks Inn. Um, we've only seen it from the outside. We've never been into that one, but it does say it welcomes cyclists. Um, this is the Grace of India. Uh, we went in there, we've been in there and eaten in there last year, or the year before I think, and uh, had a takeaway from there this year. And uh, also that is another great place uh, to sample some food from. Um, Abilady also has this shop here. Um, now you can get anything you want in there, it has all manner of things, um, including a really interesting section with uh, that sells cashew nuts, peanuts, uh, rice cakes and stuff like that. All kinds of things that you can't normally get in a in a local village shop, basically, and sometimes not even in a supermarket. So I got myself um, some interesting things from there. Um, there is a post office in the village. I believe it's in the church hall. Um, the other thing it, that uh, is depicted in these photos is the Abbey Lady Nature Reserve. Now, my sister and my niece went for a walk there with. Uh, just on their own because you can't take dogs there uh, but a bit of interesting information for you um, this was the Britain's first local nature reserve and it opened in 1952 um, and Lady is home to Scotland the Scottish Orinthology Society I think something like that the information about that will be at the end of the video um, which is uh, essentially a, it's a bird watching society so their headquarters are in Abilady. So that was Abilady High Street. I'm now going to take you on our walk where we learn the interesting history of the village. And for further information at the end of the video you can find some website links. Uh, they will also be included in the descriptions on my Facebook group and my YouTube channel. Situated on the um, High Street we have some information boards one of them is this one with a, a map of Abilady on it and it details the historical sites in there so you can kind of do your own guiding tour. So I thought that I would go through some of the terms on there that people may or may not uh, know. So we'll start at position number two, that's a customs house. Uh, this one a lot of people will know. Um, a customs house, the definition of it is the office of the border frontier where customers duty is collected um, it's kind of what HM and customs do now when you sort of coming through the airport and the ports and stuff like that that is what a customs house is um, so we'll look at position number five which is the glebe and the remains of kiln spindy castle now a glebe is an area of land within a celestial parish within an ecclesial parish used to support a parish priest. The land may be owned by the church or its profits may be reserved to the church. Um, at position number 11 on the map, that's the Old Smithy. Um, essentially, the Old Smithy is a blacksmith and we all know 
uh, what they're about and what they did um, in those sort of times they would have been uh, forging in horseshoes etc and uh, horse carts etc like that um, so moving on now we have a position number seven and there's a separate information board for this one um, there is a mercat cross and the definition of a mercat cross it is the Scots name for the market cross found frequently in Scottish cities, towns and villages where historically the right to hold a regular market or fair was granted by the monarch, a bishop or a baron. Um, you can see on the picture, um, and there's information next to on the picture, of the Abilady market. I'll just go through it roughly. Um, the market seen here is uh, depicted in the 1600s and the houses there are largely of mud and wobble. Uh, there was a, a scarceness, uh, dearthling scarceness of uh, timber at that time and for other uh, general building uh, purposes as well. Large quantities of timber were imported from far afield as, uh, far afield as Scandinavia for building projects of landowners and wealthy merchants in Haddington. Um, in the middle of the ground, looking east, uh, you can see the 13th century, century Carmelite Priory at Luffness. Now, um, more on that will be in the video because that is where we went for our walk down the, the postman's walk. Okay, so this is the walk that we took to the 13th century Carmelite um, Priory. Uh, I used OS Maps to plot it for you guys. Uh, it's a fairly simple walk and it's called the Postman's Walk. Um, the OS Maps, which is a great tool by the way online, um, says it takes 11 minutes and it's 0.45 of a mile. But we were with the dogs, um, so it took a, lot of, uh, a bit longer as any other dog walkers would know. Um, but what we did, uh, we started on the high street, we're headed down towards where the road bends out towards uh, Gullane, but we didn't take that road. You carry on straight where the Grace of India is onto the A6137. Uh, carry on down that road, and when you get to the bend in the road, then you take the road that forks left called the Gardens. And on the bend of that road, there is uh, what looks like a, a private driveway. But it actually isn't. Uh, there is a public right of way through there, and this picture that I have found doesn't actually show that, but uh, I promise you there is a footpath there. If you head down that and uh, turn to the right, you will then walk down the footpath, and on the left-hand side, through the wall, there is a gate. It does say private on it. It is not. We've spoke to uh, some locals, uh, and they said, no, it's not private. It is a public right of way, and that will take you right the way through to the um, Priory, where we saw some pretty interesting stuff. Take a look, guys. Carmelite Friar, or nun, is of a contemplative order, founded on Mount Carmel during the Crusades and dedicated to Our Lady. Mount Carmel is a mountain in northern Israel. <laughs> dates back to around the 13th century.
Well, one story is that the night that he's laid to rest is that of Sir David Lindsay, the owner of Loch Ness Manor. He went on a crusade in 1268 or 69 and there he met a Carmelite friar because he was dying of an injury or an illness and he wanted to be buried back at Loch Ness Manor. And therefore he promised the friar that if he did this, he would set up a friary at Loughness Manor within the grounds. Mm -hmm.